This is StoryLink Radio. Our stories are presented before a live audience, then recorded for the StoryLink Radio podcast for your on-demand listening pleasure. Please visit StoryLinkRadio.com for show notes, to find out how to join our live audience, and for lots of free stuff, including free audiobooks and much more. This episode is the first chapter of Les Mortes d'Arthur. Please remember to visit www.storylinkradio.com. Les Mortes d'Arthur, Book One, Chapter One How Uther Pendragon sent for the Duke of Cornwall and Egraine his wife, and of their departing suddenly again. It befell in the days of Uther Pendragon, when he was king of all England and so reigned, that there was a mighty Duke in Cornwall that held war against him a long time. And the Duke was called the Duke of Tintagel, and so by means King Uther sent for this Duke charging him to bring his wife with him, for she was called a fair lady, and a passing wise, and her name was called Igraine. So when the duke and his wife were come unto the king, by the means of great lords they were courted both. The king liked and loved this lady well, and he made them great cheer out of measure, and desired to have lain by her. But she was a passing good woman, and would not assent unto the king. And then she told the duke her husband, and said, I suppose that we were sent for that I should be dishonoured. Wherefore, husband, I counsel you that we depart from hence suddenly, uh, that we may ride all night unto our own castle. And in likewise, as she said, so they departed, that neither the king nor none of his council were aware of the departing. All so soon as King Uther knew of their departing so suddenly, he was wonderly wroth. Then he called to him his privy council, and told them of the sudden departing, of the duke and his wife. Then they advised the king to send for the duke and his wife by a great charge, and if he will not come at your summons, then may ye do your best, then have ye cause to make mighty war upon him. So that was done, and the messengers had their answer, and that was this shortly, that neither he nor his wife would come at him. Then was the king wonderly wroth, and then the king sent him plain word again, and bade him be ready and stuff him and garnish him, for within forty days he would fetch him out of the biggest castle that he hath. When the duke had this warning, anon he went, and furnished and garnished two strong castles of his, of which the one hight Tintagal, and the other castle hight Terrabil. And so his wife, Dame Igrain, he put in the castle of Tintagel, and himself he put in the castle of Terrabil, and which had many issues and posterns out. And then in all haste came Uther with a great host, and laid a siege about the castle of Terrabil, and there he piked many pavilions, and there was great war made on both parties, and much people slain. And then for pure anger, and for great love of fair Igraine, the king Uther fell sick. And so came to the king Uther Sir Ulfius, a noble knight, and asked the king why he was sick. I shall tell thee, said the king, I am sick for anger and for love of fair Igraine, that I may not be whole. Well, my lord, said Sir Ulfius, I shall seek Merlin, and he shall do you remedy, that your heart shall be pleased. And so Ulfius departed, and by adventure he met Merlin in a beggar's array, and there Merlin asked Ulfius whom he sought and he said that he had little ado to tell him. Mm, well, said Merlin, I know whom thou seekest, for thou seekest Merlin. Therefore seek no farther, for I am he. And if King Uther will well reward me, and be sworn unto me to fulfil my desire, well, that shall be his honour and profit more than mine, for I shall cause him to have all his desire. All this will I undertake, said Ulfius that there shall be nothing reasonable, but thou shalt have thy desire. Well, said Merlin, he shall have his intent and desire. And therefore, said Merlin, ride on your way, for I will not be long behind. Thank you for listening to StoryLink Radio. If you like what you've just heard, we hope you will subscribe to our podcast and pass along our web address, www.storylinkradio.com. Be sure to visit our website for show notes, to find out how to join our live audience, and for lots of free stuff, including free audiobooks and much more. Join us next time for another story from StoryLink Radio.